Northern Badger Wrestling Classic in River Falls, Wisconsin. BadgerStateWrestling.com, sponsored by Wisconsin National Guard. I'm Kevin Black, along with Jake Filkins. We're filling in for Mr. Shane Sparks, and we're at 182 pounds. Championship finals. Joe Rademacher from St. Croix Falls in on the single leg. He's in the blue and white singlet, wrestling Hayden Dvorak from Somerset. Dvorak was a state runner-up last year as a junior at 171 pounds. He's a senior. Rademacher, he's just a sophomore was in the finals here last year at 171 pounds. Good athletic scramble right there by Dvorak to end up He's fending flexible. off that single. Flexible for a big guy. That was a nice little drag we saw right away from Rademacher. So Dvorak, Dvorak right now at 100, 182 pounds. He, he came down, he was at 195 earlier on the year. He's 15 and two and he's wrestling Joe Rademacher, who's undefeated this year, and he's been looking tough. He's just a sophomore. He's so unassuming, Jake. He, he, uh, you know, just has that humble demeanor, nice and calm and quiet, and he's just, just unassuming. But he is tenacious. Yes, yeah, he is. You know, it's it's good to see Dvorak having success. I remember my senior year, and we were having a duel because someone said he bumped up, and just this little freshman pips we boss onto the mat, you know, the wrestle me just so they could have a guy out there. It's good to see him, you know, really come into his body. A tall, lengthy guy, but he's to his advantage. Yeah. Nice single there. He did okay to drop to his knees to readjust his head position. Good bump and there. there and yeah, he got his got his weight underneath him when he when he did that little double knee drop. It got his weight underneath. You know, his hips were underneath his chest, and he got his weight underneath Rademacher. So when he came up to his feet, uh, right there, he just knocked knocked Rademacher to his to his butt because he had controlled the hip. So good takedown by. Uh, a Dvorak, good recovery after a shot. Right, and, and just made it look so easy at the finish there. That was a fast period. Yeah. One out of bounce there. Rademacher had that nice, nice attack. He wasn't able to finish, and um, Dvorak took that shot with a with the um, three shot and a little shot recovery and finished for his, his takedown, two to zero. So Rademacher chose down here to start the second. Rodemack is a pretty big sophomore, Kevin. Yeah, oh, that's a... That's a powerful half there. Just trying to drive him over. And he took that's the risk deep. with it, too. Wow. Rodemack is down there just trying to grit, grit it down to a stalemate. Down there. We have a potentially dangerous. That was tight. Yeah, it was tight. Minute 35 left here, we'll have a restart. Coach Clark and Coach Stefan in the corner there for St. Croix Falls. And, uh, Coach Cappers, who's state champion at St. Croix Central. He's in the uh, corner here for Somerset, along with Andy Geving, who's a two-time state champ for Osceola. Kind of two opposite coaching philosophies. You have Coach Clark, very vocal, very loud, and then Coach Cap is just relaxed and quiet on this corner. There's nice a quick switch here. Switch. Oh, Be that's beautiful a... job of driving across there by Rademacher. So Rademacher does so well. Yeah, you know, like, like again, I don't want to want to continue to repeat myself, but he's so unassuming right there for one second. Um, Dvorak kind of led up and boom, hit a switch, drive across to a double for a takedown, and and that's where uh, that's where Rademacher, Rademacher, he's a hard worker. Yeah. Two to two now, with 45 seconds left. Rademacher has has Dvorak's ankle hooked. Now he gets out there. Three to two now, with about 35 seconds left in the second period. Joe Rademacher's brother, Jake, came into this tournament undefeated as well. He was defeated in the semifinals. Oh, look at that. Pull it, just pull him down. He's just so unassuming. He just reaches up and snaps that head. And that will. quick front headlock. And he, he missed that opportunity to go behind. That, I think that was his chance in this period to score. Now he's got his elbow too deep. And, and Dvorak knows what's happening under there. He's going to hang on to that elbow. You know, before that, Dvorak had a nice little duck on it. They just didn't really do anything yeah. afterwards. Just kind of let Rademacher circle back out out of it. Yeah, so we got Rod Rademacher's going to ride him here for a little bit. He's down by one. I don't know if he's if he's going to turn him. 
or not, but a oh, quick, quick, re nice quick switch. Ron Rock has got to keep scooting on top here, trying to keep scooting his hips out. He grabbed oh, his nice. hand and reached over to his head. He's nice. got that hand under there too, the same foot that he has. He's got his hand as well there. Now, now he lost the hand. That was very smart by Dvorak on top of trying to scoot his head underneath him. Keep that light. Oh, now he lets it go. But I was going to say he's going to keep that light hook as long as possible. Try to keep Rodemacher flat on bottom. Yeah, minute 15. Now that now now it's almost going to be a race against the clock here. If uh, Rodemacher just needs to get one, you know, and then a takedown ties it. So it is five to two, but it's not it's not out of hand yet. So Rodemacher, he just needs to keep wrestling. Right now he's not not really doing what we saw Rodemacher do here throughout yeah. the weekend. He's just kind of stopped wrestling there. He needs to get to his feet and get away. He's trying to circle here, trying to get to that leg. Oh, it almost like he's trying to set up a force grand here. That was never end well. Yeah. Stalemate. Fresh start. We got 42 seconds left. rodemacher has got to compose himself here and try to get one last little burst to get out and get himself satisfied. He's only an escape and a takedown out of this match. It's right. 42 seconds left. There's plenty of time to accomplish both. Yeah. Gotta, gotta, gotta go again, gotta go again. Yep, just one one move doesn't work. I mean, Hayden Dvorak took second in the state tournament last year and you're gonna have to put a couple moves together to get away from a guy like right. that. And he's he's got he's he knows how to use his leverage, he puts a spiral ride in and he can get heavy. He's riding tough, so Well um, af after each move Rodemacher does, he does have separation from Dvorak, but then he just stops and lets Dvorak readjust on top and right. then, 10 seconds left in the match. Dvorak's looking for back points here. Oh, we got him stretched out. So Hayden Dvorak is gonna be your champion at 182 pounds.